Hey YouTube, I'm Jean with CryptoPix. First, I want to say thanks to all my subscribers. I appreciate all of you. Also, I have a new Discord where you can join and talk with a few of us about hidden gems, next videos, and a lot of other crypto-related things. I'll link the Discord in the description below. Also, don't forget to smash that like and subscribe button. Today's PTMG analysis is on something I am super pumped up for. I've been trying to find ways to discuss this one with you. And I'm going to be covering my favorite exchange, Binance, along with its coin, Binance Coin, or BNB. Again, I am super excited about this one, and I hope by the end of this one, you are also. So what does PTMGS stand for? It's the problems they solve, the project idea, the potential for generating revenue, the team, the marketing, the market cap, the short slash long-term goals of the project. Then I end it with a summary and a star rating of one through five. What problems is Binance trying to solve? And this revolves around a few things. First is poor technical architecture. Many companies are putting together exchanges choosing the simplest approach to get up and running as quick as possible. And then once traffic grows, the system can't handle the increased load. Next, we have the insecure platform. Many exchanges have gone down due to hackers, which pretty much is caused by putting together half completed exchanges, which is related to the first point. Third, we have poor market liquidity. Many exchanges lack experience and partners to drive token volume to the exchange. Then we have poor customer service. This is a huge issue with the majority of exchanges, even the best of them. I'm sure many of us have had experiences with Coinbase. And finally, international support. Most exchanges focus only on one language or one country. So what about Binance's project idea? Binance is a cryptocurrency exchange capable of sustaining 1.4 million orders per second, as well as 20 million simultaneous users on their platform, making it one of the fastest exchanges in the market today. They support trading in Bitcoin, Ether, BNB coin, and Tether, and they plan on adding more. Their website, Binance.com, supports multiple languages, English, Japanese, Chinese, Korean, Russian, and Spanish with more to be added later. And they also support multiple platforms, including web, Android, iOS, mobile, HTML, and PC clients, which both window and Mac. And then I have three pictures. We have the PC client, the iOS trading page, and then the HTML5 market data, just to give you an example of the different platforms that they're supporting with some pictures. So more on the project idea, the CEO kind of hints to a big, big updates. RSPM is the acronym for them. And we have the R, which is referral program, and the P, which is the PC client. We're still waiting for the next two. Super exciting. I have no idea what they could be. They also claim to be super picky which, with which coins they let on their exchange. This is obviously a huge positive, so we don't get a bunch of useless pump and dump coins. They say they prioritize what they look for with the number of users, the product team then the advisors and then they end with a white paper they also said this criteria will get more strict with time so that they ensure their exchange doesn't get saturated with coins i feel like i had to do one more project idea slide to give you my favorite parts of the exchange first i love that you can easily see the usd price so that you know where you stand when you're buying and selling which is right here then I love how you can buy in 25, 50, 75, or 100% increments. It's right here. Super easy to buy at the best market price. One of the best, if not the best feature in my opinion is the favorite coin option. This is amazing and I'm surprised more exchanges don't have this. It's just so simple yet so effective. I love the full screen mode, making it easier to read the chart. And last but not least, the sign in verification it's just an added feature to make sure you don't sign into a fake website which is definitely needed after you hear all these reports of people losing their money on bitrix or these bitrix fake sites all of this is without any chrome extensions which i love i'm not sure how you can't love this exchange i would love to know what are your favorites about this exchange that i might have missed or what you dislike about it so potential for generating revenue, the Binance coin BNB is used for fees on the platform. We got withdrawal fees, 
listing fees and any other fees. Below in that picture shows the fee discount you'll receive. They will also be using their profits to buy back in and burn 50% of the total supply going from 200 million to 100 million tokens. They also claim that they're going to be building a decentralized exchange where BNB will be used as gas for transactions. So this coin has some real use on their exchange, which is awesome to see, especially because I plan on doing majority of my trading here. Now, of course, one of the most important aspects of the analysis, the team. First, we have Cheng Ping, who is the CEO of Binance. He's the he was the head of Trade Block Futures Development at Bloomberg for four years. He is also the founder and CEO of Baiji Tech, which powers over 30 exchanges in Asia and closed over $36 million in revenue in its first year. Obviously, this guy knows what he's doing and is a superstar in my book. Next superstar we have is Roger Wang. He is the CTO of Binance. He was the co-founder at Beijing Tech also, and he was their CTO. He worked as a tech leader at Normura for three years and tech leader at Morgan Stanley for four and a half years. Then we have James, who is their chief architect. He is also a co-founder and chief architect at Beijing Tech. Before Beijing Tech, he worked at Palantir as a software engineer, so I'm giving him a star for that experience. Then we have Paul, who is the VP of engineering at Binance. He held the same title at Baiji Tech. He worked at Bloomberg as a software engineer for two years and a computer programmer at MIT for two years. So he gets a superstar for that experience. And then we're gonna end with Sonny. He is the operations director at Binance. He's the same title at Baiji at Tech. And he gets a star for his senior consultant at Accenture for five years. And it's because that's where I work. I always have some love for the Accenture people. Now we have their advisors. So as you can see, this team has so many advisors, 23 plus more that wanted to be private. I've decided to go off the descriptions and decide if they are star or superstar. I also did some research on the ones that I could find on LinkedIn, the non-Chinese, and trying to confirm if they're a star or a superstar. So a quick summary. First, we have Matthew. He has some good experience, was a board member at 180 Connect, which is a company that was bought out by AT&T. He's also the co-founder at Silk Road Technology, plus lots of founding and co-founding experience. Superstar in my eyes. Next, we have Roger Ver. I've covered him multiple times, just did it in my Bitcoin Cash. He is the CEO of Bitcoin.com, advisor and member of some very big blockchain names, such as Bitcoin Cash. He's been a superstar in many of my other videos and is still a superstar here. Then we have Ron Cowell. Hopefully I said that right. He is getting a superstar for his five years of work with the World Economic Forum and also his two years of work at Intel in product marketing. Also an MIT and Harvard graduate, so obviously a super smart guy. Next we have Jeff. He gets a superstar for being the founder and CEO of TKing.cn and also his experience as a tech lead at Morgan Stanley. Eric gets a superstar from his experience at NEO where he's a core member and lead match engineer developer at Hobie. Hopefully I said that right again. I'm sorry if I'm not. Finally, we have Da Hongi. He's a CEO of NEO. If I said his name wrong, I'm sorry. I couldn't find his LinkedIn, but I know he has great experience just because he's a CEO of NEO. So he's a superstar in my eyes. Majority of the other advisors didn't have a LinkedIn. So I assume that they're in that Chinese market, but a majority of them seem like they're stars or superstars based off their little description that they have. Now for their marketing, we have Twitter, which is super active with announcements, updates, and news. As you can see, they posted 12 hours ago, 15 hours ago, 19 hours ago. They are super active on Twitter. That's exciting. Then we have their Telegram, super active. They have their team and a large community, which I was also able to talk with one of their team members, Ding Hao, which was super awesome. I love that I was easily able to get information and talk to the team directly. With Facebook, they're super active with announcements, updates, and news. They have an act, they have a YouTube, but it's not very active. Then Reddit is super active community. Now for Binance's competition, obviously they have a large amount of competition. We got Bitrix, Plonix, Bitfinex, KuCoin, HitBTC, Cryptopia, CoinExchange, Cost, and there's just so many. So I'm not going to do the positive and negatives or comparing each exchange because there's just, like I said, so many. You can easily see why Binance is superior based off the project idea. And if you actually go in there and use the exchange and go and compare to the ones that you're used to, and you will be amazed. Now we have Binance or BNB. 
or Binance coin market cap. 200 million market cap, currently around $2.28,000 sats. All time high was $2.82, 70,000 sats on August 21st. We're looking at 99 million circulating supply, 200 million total supply, but they're going to burn half of that. So we'll have 100 million total supply. The volume in the last 24 hours is $20 million, was $83 million on August 21st. Exchanges, obviously Binance, my favorite exchange, and I've mentioned this several times. BNB is also on Ether Delta, which I recently just realized yesterday is not as bad as I once thought it was. As long as you have the MetaMask account, it's actually pretty easy to use. For the short slash long-term goals of the project, they don't have any public roadmap at this moment. The picture below is pretty much the most of a roadmap we're gonna get. We got spot trading in the future, margin trading, futures, anonymous, instant exchange, decentralized exchange, and then much more. This is a little bit, probably the only disappointing part to me is that there is no roadmap, but I'm not really expecting it as much anymore because it seems to be pretty common. So Binance or BNB is one of the best exchanges, and in my opinion, the best exchange. They have a superstar team, superstar advisors, great and unique features, very beautiful user-friendly interface, and so much more. I couldn't really find much negatives when it came to this one. Maybe if the coin had a few more uses like KuCoin and costs, like a revenue sharing model. Also, I would like to see a more detailed or just a roadmap in general. But the more research I'm doing, I'm realizing it's not really as necessary as I once thought it was. Other than that, the project is amazing. So with that being said, I'm giving Binance a five stars because although this exchange is super new, it is by far one of the best. They have, as I said earlier, super user-friendly, easy charting, pretty much easy with everything, with a lot of unique features, plus their coin has a valid purpose of helping you lower your fees when you're just exchanging like crazy, when you're trading like crazy. They also have a superstar team and a lot of great advisors. Therefore, in my mind, they rightfully deserve the score. I hope you enjoyed this video on Binance slash Binance coin. What are your thoughts on the project? Do you love it as much as I do? Let me know in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Oh, also, I am linking in my description the Binance site with my referral code. I usually don't post referral codes, but I've had a few friends suggest that I do. So you totally don't have to use it, but it's there for you. Thank you, and I'll see you next time.